Hey guys, and welcome to another video. This is going to be a bit of a Christmas special. I'm hoping I can get it all up on Christmas Day. Um, so what are we going to do here? Well, we're going to go for extra content, and we're going to play End of Zoe because this game, or this mode, I should say, is probably one of the best Resident Evil DLCs. Um, that at least I can think of. Uh, I personally enjoyed it a lot more uh, compared to the new DLC that's just come out for Resident Evil... Uh, I was going to say Resident Evil 7 then. Resident Evil 8 Village. Um, the Rose Winters DLC. It was... It was fine. <laughs> you know, it, it was whatever. Didn't like all the stealth stuff in it, but you know... It, 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 it was alright. But this version, this DLC, is really freaking cool. And it actually clears up what happens with Zoe. And introduces a new uh, character, Joe. Now, I chose this for a Christmas special because I have tried to record this game going on five times now. Each time there's been a unique issue, right? First time I recorded it... <sighs> Before I upgraded my computer with my old graphics card. Um, <laughs> the videos corrupted. Or one of them did. Or was it two? Something like that. I had some big fault with that. I can't remember exactly what it was. So I trashed it all. Then um, I upgraded from my 1060 to a 4080. And I tried recording it again. But the audio didn't come out properly. So I I don't know why I don't know what happened with that. Um, I've just tried to record it again, but I'm using a new headset, and because I'm using a new wireless headset, that's changed some of my audio settings. So I've just done half of this roughly again, and I've had the same problem. So now, hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed. This is going to go up on Christmas. I mean, Christmas is literally in two days. So this is my one shot. <laughs> so, well, you're either going to see it or you're not. Anyway, this is fantastic uh, DLC. It really does clear up what happened with Zoe. It's really different as well. I mean, we went yesterday because my brother has come over from Denmark. First time I've seen him in six years. Went to the cinema and watched Violent Christmas. Well, I believe that's what the film was called. Something like that. Not a big uh, movie fan. I don't watch a lot of movies. And I don't really watch any TV series at all. But we went and watched that. And it was brilliant. Santa Claus goes on a murder spree. Murders loads of people to save some kid and her family. It was a jolly good time. Lots of blood. Lots of violence. Fantastic. Just what you want for Christmas, really. And this guy kind of reminds me of the Santa Claus from that film. So, without any further bullshit, let's jump in to a series. I guess this might be a series. Might not be. Depends how long. Um, that we should have done, what, five, six years ago? Well, let's go. We're going to go normal, because we want to get through it in decent time. I've unlocked some stuff for already completing the game once, which we're going to take for the ride. I had to use one of them. There's only one left. <gasps> it's fine. It was foolish thinking I could escape. I'm sure there's someone who can help. This is my home. Apparently, I belong. I'll send help. I'll send help. Don't bother. There won't be anyone left to help!
casualty here. Hey, I think she what was. What the hell are you boys up to? That's her, all right. Zoe Baker. She's still breathing. Call in the HQ. Did you say Zoe? Sir, do you live here? What the hell's wrong with her? We're Zoe! here to help. So everything. What in God's name have you done? Sir. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Oh my goodness, Zoe. What the hell do they do to you? <sighs> Listen to me. We're here to help. <laughs> no. I don't believe you, boy. Tell me, what kind of help comes in a helicopter gunship? You don't know what you're talking about. You don't get it. You think I don't know who you people are with all these monsters running around here? Tell me, where did they come from? It's not what you think. You don't understand! Well, I don't understand! You see that girl back there? Look! That there, my brother's little girl. My niece, you understand? And around here, family is a righteous cause. And you ain't gonna kill my family. Now see, that ain't something I can abide. For fuck's sake, she's infected. She's dying, and we're both gonna fucking die if we don't get the fuck out of here right now. Mm. <sighs> she ain't dead yet, boy. So I figure you better do something about it. Boy, I feed you two little friends outside. Hey, okay. There's a cure. You're lying to me. <sighs> I'm not lying. I'm not lying. We were on our way to get her treatment. And you fucked that up when you jumped us. They're probably still waiting for us right now. Uh, where? <clears throat> so there's a good introduction to our character, Joe. I'm not too far from here. It's there. I swear. So... Poor old Zoe. Fix this, Zoe. You're my family. Poor old Zoe here has been crystallized by the uh, mute my seed. Um, unfortunate, really. Now we you can already see straight off the bat, Joe. Well, Joe's not very clever. Um, in fact, he's probably sub forty IQ. I'm surprised he can write. Let's just say that much. So. Obviously, these guys had nothing to do with uh, what happened to her. Uh, pretty obvious they were trying to sort some things out. But, well, Joe has no brain. He only has fists. And, well, he uses his fists a lot. <laughs> That's going to be a theme. Uh, so, let's have a little look. That was no gator I saw today. Was out checking the lines when I saw I had one. So, I pulled it up. Instead, it was some sludge-covered God-knows-what uh, with huge, uh, huge teeth and claws trying to get at me, so I punched the fucker's teeth in before it could. Never thought I'd see it with my own eyes. The goddamn government doing secret experiments on people and animals. No doubt about it. Explains those helicopters flying about recently. Yeah, also, um, he's been sipping the, uh, the Kool-Aid. He's, uh, <laughs> he's got his tinfoil hat on. Um, yeah, Joe, <laughs> Joe's like a comedy character, basically. Um, now, because I've already completed the game once, we're going to get, like, time trials and things pop up all the time. Really annoying. We're not going to worry about the time trials, though. But if we go over to our item box here, we can see that we have some shotgun shells and a shotgun. Because I've already finished the game. Now, <clears throat> never used the shotgun in this um, particular mode. So I don't know what it's like. We're not going to pick up this. This is the... Uh, well, 
Nah, we won't. This is the AM uh, G, but you don't need to worry about that just yet. So the rub with Joe is we can hit things. That's that's what Joe does. He punches things because uh, there's not a lot upstairs. Uh, also, he has this uh, family obsession. Um, he says family a lot. Family is very important to Joe, as we're going to find out. He's going to tell us about 58,000 times. Family, family, family. Also, Joe likes living off the land. So we're going to be finding a lot of moldy bugs and things that uh, Joe is going to be eating for health. Because Joe doesn't care. <laughs> you moldy motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, we're going to just beat the fuck out of all these moldy motherfuckers. Trouble with these moldy guys, if we don't finish them off with a quick stomp, uh, they do get back up. Oh, we got a centipede as well. Lovely. Yeah, if we don't finish them off with a stomp, they will get back up. They will rise again, which is rather unfortunate. But that's okay. We can also crouch, which is fun. As I said, we're not going to worry about the timer. It's really bloody annoying, and I kind of wish we could turn it off, but we can't. There's also, like, stealth mechanics in this game as well, which is a little bit strange. But they're not bad. Now... Die, motherfucker, die. If you're thinking to yourself, gee, I wonder how he's not infected yet. Yeah, don't worry. Uh, I was thinking the same, but he has plot armor. <clears throat> Our friend Joe here has a healthy amount of plot armor. Right. Uh, but I assume that you're not really supposed to take this section too seriously. So it's okay. Now, what happens when Joe comes up to a barrier? Well, dear viewer, he uses his fists. Because that is what Joe does. Now, these little effigies we pick up. These are boxer effigies. Uh, there we go. There's X amount of these that are plotted around the game. Uh, each one of these we pick up, they give us plus 1% to our attack power. This doesn't sound like a lot, but there are a lot of these to find. Also, I was going to go for a 100% run, but these are also randomized from certain enemies and certain boxes. So there's not really a lot of point in doing so. Because as I said, I've completed this about three times now. And I've always had a different number of these. So we're not going to worry too much about that. Hey, we found another centipede. Lovely. Right, let's keep going. Oh, we got ourselves another government soldier. Or umbrella soldier, really. What the? What the? What is this? So we got the cure for the E-type infection. Trouble is, if you look at that needle, it doesn't really appear to be an awful lot left in it. Hopefully that won't be an issue. I'm just going to stand on this thing's nuts. Several times, apparently. Now, the good thing about playing as Joe is he can actually take quite a beating. But he is not invincible. Now, you're going to want to be careful here. Because when engaging multiple enemies, you want to try, if you can to prioritize the ones that are down because I think if they get back up they seem to get all of their health back and we don't really want to be in that kind of situation where we're just knocking these enemies down and they're just constantly getting up so anyway let's go continue to spread Christmas joy Ooh. well that's that's strange oh look we have a a happy little fire with some happy little uh, not so little gators I guess oof yeah so that gives us a quick tutorial on how to use punches and stuff but it's fairly self explanatory really 
Um, the combat system isn't deep. Alright, and there's Zoe. You're good. She's having a bit of a bad time. Bless her. Um, well, he was taken by the swamp, and then rejected by the swamp. So, anyway, Zoe, probably time we weren't here. It's a good thing her body has calcified in certain, um, select zones. Let's go, Zoe. Also, I am very surprised with just how good this game still looks. It's kind of like a horror movie. Almost like a horror video game, really. But um, we've got all the ray tracing and all that good stuff on that they've recently added. Uh, Zoe, do you want to? Thank you. Looks like the Swamp Man has destroyed our hut. It's not very nice. Where are we going to have a shower now? And I guess that's the Gator Barbecue gone. Soldier Boy said the meds were at some kind of base. Some kind of base, eh? Yeah, this game really does look fantastic. Where in all hell did this wall come from? I'm also finding myself having a, a huge amount of nostalgia for this game as well. Even though it's not actually that old. Looks like somebody left the lights on. Oh, goody gumdrops. Well, come on then, Zoe. Let's go on an adventure. At some point, anyway. There we go. Okay. Don't you worry, Zoe. Just a little further. Yeah, don't you worry about it, Zoe. I'm sure there's loads of cure for this uh, disease. This mold. Just lining the halls of this place. You'll be eight. Another shot of that weird green voodoo and you would be just fine. Oh, hello. A little bit of a lagoon thing going on there. Uh, oh, hello. Oh, come on. Not now, Gator. Not now, Gator. Uh, I don't think the Gator cares, to be honest with you. Maybe he should. Because Joe could probably turn it inside out pretty easily. Not that we're going to get the chance. So unfortunately, Gators are a one-hit kill. You alright buddy? You good? You going to leave me alone? For now. Okay. You'll be safe here. Hmm. Yeah, you're going to be safe here. I'm sure that Gator ain't going to come in and, you know, eat you. Yeah. And hopefully you can regrow your clothes as well. 
because you don't want weird Uncle uh, Joe seeing any of that stuff. Now, uh, we're good. All right, we're good. We're good. Cool. So this is the army base that we've heard so much about from Soldier Boy, who we were absolutely responsible for his death. All right there, friendo. Don't mind if I help behind you and murder you. Yeah, you'll notice that um, old Joe here has a rather considerable amount of mold all over him. Oh, that was unfortunate. You can actually fairly easily stealth your way through the space, but that's okay. We don't mind kicking an ass or 13. Also, these critters that we can find that get us um, a bit of health back. Now, we'll be seeing them a little bit later on, but they, uh, they're they covered in mold. <laughs> Most of them are rotten. But, but old Joe, he, he, well, he doesn't seem to mind too much. Anyway, let's keep sneaking. Gotta be sneaky. We can hear one round the corner. Yep, he's waiting for us to come around the other side. Unfortunately, for him, he's dead now. Or maybe fortunately. I mean, I don't know if you'd really want to be... Oh, there's a grub. They were looking at these grubs. Laptop. Nothing good really here to take. You would have thought there'd be loads of goodies here. There isn't, sadly. We do have a shotgun. What's interesting about this shotgun is we've got seven shells. That's not a lot. And now we have a throwing spear as well. Throwing spears. Well, that was not great. To be honest. We completely and totally missed that. I think you have to aim up with the throwing spears. It, it's been a while. It's been a decent while since I've done this. Let's try that again. Right, okay. Let's try and stealth murder everything again. I always get that wrong. Now, those little guys that scamper around, that I can't remember what they're called, the little creepy crawler molded guys they as you can see they will kill you very quickly incredibly quickly you really do have to be pretty careful with them because i'm not sure how they fuck you up so quickly but they do does make me wonder uh, about joe's man card to be honest when considering how many uh, Ethan chewed through. Right, let's try that again then, shall we? Let's aim up this time. A little bit something like that. There we go. Now, luckily enough, they are a one-hit kill. But uh, they're single-use, though, sadly. Not that we really expected anything else from them. Fertilizer. You know what? We'll just take the box refugee. Probably should just save as well, I guess. Might as well. Probably be saving it on different slots as well, just because, you know, things happen. Right. So, orders are as follows. Effective immediately. The mutamycy is on the loose in the swamp, and it will keep mutating as it encounters new organisms. We can't allow the stock of medicine compounds... To be exposed. If they suffer a mutation, they'll be useless. Transfer the whole anti um, anti infective synthesizing station over to the paddle boat. The paddle boat? Damn it. You boys ain't making this simple. No. But then, you know, you murdered them all. It probably would have been a bit easier if we had all of those on our side. You know, just saying. Oh, hello. Oh. Oof. Right, let's get this done, shall we? 
Oh, he's gonna hit us. Ow. I think he hits us twice. Is that like a double whammy? Yeah. And then we've got to wait for him to kind of go down a bit. Keep punching him in the face. If you hit him in the face, it does uh, more damage. So always go for the face shots. There we go. <laughs> you say that with such confidence, my man. Mm. What? Oh, come on. Just stay down. Yep. Now I don't know. Oh god, if we can actually fight him again. It's probably we probably could, but it's not worth it. But anyway, he's gonna lose interest in us now. Piss off you old bastard. Okay, what have we got here? We've got a crawfish. As you can see, these um, save areas are literally everywhere. Um, we also have these item boxes everywhere as well. Locked from the other side. Well, that's that's jolly inconvenient, isn't it? Let's keep going. Ooh, another grub. Excellent. Right, well, I guess we're off. We're off to play with the gators, I guess. Now, you can avoid them if you're careful. Oh, there's one there. Didn't see him. Not sure if we can get between these two. Yep, looks okay. Looks good. Right, him. Probably have to kill him. That's fine. Right, let's go have a little ponder around here. Oh, look. Got some monsters. That's okay. We can handle these guys. Luckily, these guys... Aren't too much of a threat when they're on their own. Where's the where are you? There you are. Let's go stamp on your face and kill you until you die from it. Can you die please? Thank you. Kill them until they die from it. That's the plan. Right, we'll have the spears. That's the only real reason of coming back up here is we can get a couple of extra spears. And we want them. Because, my god, they are pretty bloody useful, actually. You know, being a one-hit kill. And I'm pretty sure they're a one-hit kill on most enemies. Obviously not bosses. But most enemies. Can we sneak past this one? Nope. Well, we came out of there with at least one. So that's fine. So, we've unlocked it. And that's led us back to the other side of this little area here. Most, like, the map in this um, mode seems pretty big, but it isn't. It's, it's kind of misleading. But that's okay. It also doesn't look like we're going to get extra shotgun shells or anything like that. But again, that's fine. We can handle that. Just going to keep on uh, keep on walking. So there's basically three areas to this. You've got, uh, from what I can remember, there's the swamp. Uh, there's the this boat. And then there's like one other area. So, you know, that gives you a rough guide of how far through it we actually are. I'm just going to probably record this in one shot. And then edit it somehow. Whether it be one or two videos. I don't know. Or maybe even a whole video. 
We shall see. Anyway. Let's keep going. Another boxer effigy. Which we shall have. And my phone's going. Now, where were we? Oh, yes. Kicking an arse or two on the uh, ship. That's fair enough. Oh, oh, hello. You're a big fella, aren't you? Step right up, son. Now, unfortunately, these bigger guys, they're definitely a little bit tougher. But that's okay. We can handle them. Come on, you big, ugly, moldy fuck. Let's get this done. Need to be careful. Oh, oh, almost. Oh, he didn't require a stomp to the balls either. Curious. Oh, and he's already disappeared. <laughs> right, all right. Well, that's good. Good. Excellent. I'm glad. Oh, we'll have the centipede. Nice, nice bit of dinner for later. Handsome. Right, what are we looking at? This. Oh, no, I don't want to eat that. Not bad. Not bad. I'll take your word for it, buddy. Yeah, we're going to sneak up behind people. Don't you worry about it. Let's steep, sneak up behind as many as we possibly can. Because it sure as shit does make things a little bit easier. Unfortunately, it is kind of easy to accidentally... Oh, hello. It is very easy to accidentally eat food where you don't want to. Alright, you big moldy motherfucker. Come on. Let's do this. You and me. There we go. Okay, I... Don't know what happened to him. He just seems to have teleported behind us, but that's fine. We'll have the grub. Ooh, and a tree branch as well. We are truly being spoiled here. Can we turn that shit off, I wonder? I don't think we can turn the countdown off. That's really annoying. Well, whatever. I guess for now we're just going to keep sneaking around. Oh. Hello. Cheeky, cheeky bastards. Oh, that was bullshit. We should have got the drop on him there, but it didn't work. Ow. This is going horribly wrong. Just going to punch him in the moldy dick. That's fine. There we go. Oh. I don't even know what got us then. That was interesting. Yeah, so that's it. The extreme challenge. Kind of don't want that. Oh, we're really back here again. God damn it. All right, let's pick up the scrap. <clears throat> Yeah, the first time I actually came through here. We actually stealthed our way through this uh, boat section. Quite easily, actually. It's not that difficult. It's not even that long, to be honest. Just me making it look really difficult. <laughs> okay, let's get down here. Now, I'm also on a bit of a time limit here. Because if I don't finish this <laughs> in the next, say, hour, hour and a bit, um, ain't going up for Christmas anyway. I'll have to go up after. Come on, you. There we go. Let's be having ya. Whoop, whoop. Put your dukes up. Now, you can circle straight around these guys, but it's not kind of an exact science doesn't always work but luckily we've got all this mold be gone in our pockets 
which is what I'm going to be calling it from now on. Precious mold be gone. Right, let's try that again. But let's be a little bit sly this time. And murder these guys. Before we actually trigger them. There we go. Can we get to him before? Yep. There we go. That's him gone. And we've got him as well. We know there's one behind us, which we want to be a little bit careful with. Alright, let's wait for this little four-legged fucker to come back. So we can go step on his spine. Now we should, in theory, be hidden behind this barrel. But I'm not 100% sure and I'm super confident in the stealth system in this game. It seems to be okay. But not brilliant. At times. But there we go. Just head stomp that motherfucker. Got another boxer effigy. See, in those boxes, there can literally be anything. There can be, um, like, spears, for instance. There can be weapons. There can be health. Or not weapons, but, you know, like, ammo. Um, materials for upgrades. Effigies. All sorts. And sometimes, just sometimes... It's a whole load of nothing that just gets you hurt. Right, now we can, because I do remember, there is a way of sneaking up behind this guy. I just can't exactly remember. Ah, how we do it. There we go. I guess a little bit something like that. <laughs> Good night. There we go. Go look at that. Nothing left but bits. Perfect. There we go. Now this bit is a little bit more challenging. Though it kind of shouldn't be. This is fairly simple, fairly basic. There we go. <laughs> it came up with stealth kill for a second. Literally for a second. It didn't quite work for us. But that's okay. That's okay. Are we good? Are we good? Are you dying? Thank you. Honestly, these guys, they really like the theatrics of the whole thing. They really do. They're always singing, dancing. So we've got a guy over there. Good to know. So let's keep sneaking this way. Sneak, sneak, sneak. Sneak, sneak, sneak. We have a box. With another boxer effigy in it. Now, if we go through here, there's actually one of these guys. It's a champion effigy. Now, a champion effigy is actually better. They uh, increase our attack power by 5%. But there's only actually three of those in the game, from what I can understand. So... Now, if we stick our head up, there's one there. There's also him there. Right. Let's say, come on, can we not get up and out? We should. Be able to sneak up and take this guy out. Say should. Oh, there's one over there. His 
mate might have seen us. He did not. <laughs> we got very lucky there. We got very lucky there. And I'm happy with this. Okay. Yo ho fucking ho. Now. Now, where's the other guy? Hello, sweet cheeks. What you, uh, what you doing over there? Having a little bit of a jig, a little bit of a dance. That's okay. You're entitled to enjoy yourself. Not gonna, not gonna say anything about that. It's your Christmas as well. All right, I think that might be all of them. Maybe. Yeah, so this is the other side, right? So we've got some scrap there. We'll have that, just because, you know, scrap. Scrap is good. We like scrap. Um, what else? We've got a lot of pipes. Yes. Not too shabby. I think we've we've done a somewhat adequate job there. Somewhat adequate. Anyway. Happy with that. So we've got some first aid meds. Yum, yum, yum. And we've got a nice juicy fat spear. I forgot about that. Right, anyway, one second guys, need to have another break because uh, my brother's just come out of the hospital. Okay, um, now, so that's missing. Or should I say it's not missing, we have it. Now we're gonna be leaning on those spears quite significantly. I I think uh if I'm not mistaken, why do I think there was like an effigy around here somewhere? Maybe not. It doesn't matter, like I say. Um it doesn't matter if we find all the hidden ones or not. Because Ah, there it is. I knew there was one here somewhere. All right, cool. All right, well, let's give it a save. And push the button. Get, jo uh, just going to say Joey. Come <laughs> on. If it could go wrong, it will. Finally. Oh, guess who's back? Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh man, that's gonna hurt. Well, You know what? We're going to use the shotgun. Because I don't really want it taking up my inventory for too much longer. So, let's just get it used. I don't think we're going to get any more ammo for it. Oh, wow. Oof. Oh, that's going to stink. <laughs> Is that all you got? Yeah, that shotgun's kind of a waste of time, really. If you think about it. Whoa, that hurts. Oh, that's my face. I would say that's my pretty face. But I don't think it's fair to call us pretty. Oof, Jesus. Jack, you're getting a bit excited there, buddy. Flopping around like a fish. There we go. Stagger, you bastard. That's it. Ooh, 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 ooh. 
Alright, calm down, Jack. Calm down. Thank you. Allow me to get my composure back. There we go. Ooh, that was nice. Ow, 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 ow. Yeah, he doesn't mind giving us an ass kicking or ten. Ooh, you saucy little fucker. Come on. Come on. Yep. He's going to do his combo. Is he going to do a big wind-up one? No, he's all right. Ooh. Yep, we died. Fuck you. Fuck you. Down you go, big fella. There we go. Now that's empty. He's probably going to be a little bit angry now. Now he's going to jump around like a little monkey. Ooh. Ooh, you sausage. You absolute sausage. Ow. Ow. Oh, God. It hurts. See all these, like, mold chunks flying at us. There we go. So as soon as he goes to grab us, you just got to punch him in the face. Uh-oh. That's going to hurt. Ooh, nasty. Right, heal up. Smoke him if you got him. Oh, I think he's going down again. Yep, there we go. Oh, we actually cleared it in time. <laughs> Just ripped his fucking head off. Yes, we are. I love that. Just literally, like, tears his head off. Like, it's nothing. Right, okay. Now. Yeah, the shotgun. Okay, I expected it to be, I don't know, just, like, a little bit better. Considering you only get seven shells. You get seven shells and that's that. It doesn't seem to be you know, worth carrying at all. But that's fine. As soon as we get the opportunity, we'll ditch it. Alright, let's see. Tree branch. I suppose we'll have a tree branch. Now, is there actually any goodies around here? Any grubs? Anything tasty and delicious? Doesn't look like it. I am disappointed. Right. So that is Swamp Man, totally not Jack, defeated again. And of course, where does that end us up? Right back where we started. So if you think about it, we really haven't gone that far at all. The map feels a lot bigger and more open than it actually is. Alright. Oh, actually, I know what we should have saved the shotgun for. But it doesn't matter. We do have a bit of a awkward, uh, awkward bit coming up. A little bit later on, but that's fine. We shall certainly cross that bridge when we get to it. Oh, hello. I like the way he just like literally manhandles her, just grabs her and just walks off into the sunset. Zoe, where are you, girl? I don't think she's gonna answer us. I'm pretty sure she's just enjoying her nap. Oh, hey, leave my family alone, asshole. Leave my family, my family, my family, family, family. Oh, you're going to get it. <laughs> I love how just dumb Joe is. It's brilliant. <laughs> you're going to get it. 
Okay, so at least we're out on the boat now. Ooh. Damn. This whole place has gone to hell. Yeah, just a little bit. I don't think uh, a little vaccine is going to fix this place up. Well, that's up to Umbrella to figure out. God, can you imagine it? The actual Umbrella goons coming along and like having to completely decontaminate this area. Kind of like the village as well. Hound Wolf coming along and sorting the place out. Still hate that name as well, Hound Wolf. Oof. Just sounds silly. Any bugs for me? Oh, look at that. Pulsating sack of just pus. Oof. Oh. Don't mind if I do. Certainly have a grub. Right, we're in the swamp now. And the swamp isn't a super happy fun time. Not with them big ugly gators loitering around anyway. Still, a couple of crawfish will have those. Ah, oh, there's no item box here. That's a bastard. And uh, I don't actually think there's going to be an item box for a little while. Which is somewhat problematic. Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> I freaking love that. That's so funny. But, that's the only fake one here, though. Now, we do want to be a little bit careful here. We don't want to waste too many of these things, because you better believe these throwing spears, we're, we're going to need a few of them. And they are, as we've seen, excruciatingly powerful. As long as we don't anger these guys, they're generally pretty happy to just chill where they are. Look at that. There's something about that. They're just... It obviously looks fake, but the visuals with this engine just look really nice. We'll get some scrap. We do like collecting our scrap. Check out the microwave. What have we got? We've got another crawfish in the microwave. I don't know how he got in there. And we're not going to ask questions. Now... Okay. Where's this guy going? Let's just check, see what his pattern is. So he's just kind of circling. Kind of chilling. Having a bit of a circle. That's fine. See if we can't get up behind him. Nope. That's fine. Smoke him if you got him. Crawfish, not bad. I mean, I guess it's not bad. We'll have it, I suppose. If we have to. Right, so. Let's see what's going on here. Ooh, ooh. Love you. Got him swimming around there. Got Mr. Croc off there in the distance. Now, let's try and sneak past this chap. Which, potentially, shouldn't be too difficult. Give him the old slip. Right, let's go. Let's get out of this bloody water. I'm tired of being in this water. All these nasty bloody crocs ambling around. Oof. Right. I know you're it. There you go. That one got me a few times. <laughs> and there's our second champion eff effigy. 
So just those two champion effigies were doing 10% more damage, which admittedly, right, isn't a lot, but I'd rather have it than not have it. So what are we up to now? We are up to, we've got 43 branches. We're actually getting quite the full inventory. Shame we can't drop that, just ditch it. Got critters. Joe's survival manual. Oh, how to kill those things. Bodies are tough, but heads are soft. Punch them. Get as many fast punches in as possible. Uh, left, right, right with some fast right jabs works good. Right, left, left, then a strong left knock uh, knocks them out. Heads crush easily underfoot when they fall down. Crouch and sneak behind them when they're not looking to take them out without a fight. Yeah, there's Joe's guide. We can't ditch that either. So, we've got nearly 20% um, damage buffs, like 19%. That's pretty good. Certainly a good bit stronger than when we first started. And look. Crawfish. We have an item box. Lovely. Let's drop that back. Uh, right. You know what? Let's drop that as well. Really don't need that. We've got a lot of healing items. Holy crap. Kind of silly when you think about it, actually. Um, do you remember moving this stuff around with the mouse and the mouse is actually really difficult? I remember that from the actual game. Main game, I should say. Got to try and double click onto the item to select it. But sometimes it takes three or four clicks. Uh, right, we actually got a lot of space here. Now we've got a steak bomb, which is like a landmine that we can put down. Actually quite good, but somewhat limited. Ooh, look at that, all the fish in that chest freezer. Oof. No, thank you. No, thank you. Alright, let's get out of it. Three minutes start. Now, this water is completely infested with crocs. Because, of course, it is. And we've got a very... Oh, God. Rickety-ass bridge to walk across. And it's kind of fiddly. Kind of. If we could look down just a little bit more and see our feet... It would probably be just a fraction easier, but it doesn't matter. It's not too bad. Right, morning mold. Morning, evening, afternoon, whatever. Feeling better for that, dude? Oof, he's like folded in half. He had a very bad time. Evening, guys. Let's get this done. There we go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Lovely. Oof. Oh, hello. No, no, no. I don't think so, pal. Ow. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> Maybe they are going to kick my ass. God damn it. Yeah. Oh, really? Back here? Right, let's try and take this guy out with a decent amount of time. Oh, hello. I don't think so, friend. There we are. Now, I guess just drop that bomb on him. Now, can we? Yeah. There we go. I don't understand because he was... Oh, right. Another one spawns in from behind us. I remember. I remember how that works. Yes. We actually get triple teamed there. Of course we do. Triple teaming gits. Well, whatever it takes to make them feel better about themselves, I suppose. Alright. 
Okay. Now, let's get going. Now, Mr. Gator. Ooh. Oh, no. I guess we're going to re-roll what we get from here, at least. We might get something better. Might get something worse. We may never know. Okay. A grub and a tree branch. Yeah, see? We didn't get our uh, boxer effigy this time. Which, well... You know. It is subjective as if it's worth uh, an extra 1% damage. I would say no. Probably not. I would rather just having the health. Ooh. There we go. Right up his ass. That sorted him out. Bastard. Right. Ooh, we've got some spears over there. Hello, dickbag. Oh, and there's a bouncer one over there, but I'm stuck behind. Ooh. <laughs> Excellent. Come to daddy, fool. There we go. Fool. Right. Now, after that bit of excitement is over. Now, how do we... Ah. Okay. Got to get around this corner, I believe. Ooh. Maggot on the other side, or a centipede, I should say. Hey, there's a box refugee. Yep, there we go. Come on, dude. Come on. Put your dukes up. Ooh, he's not enjoying that. He didn't have a good time. But we did. Not bad, Joe. Not bad. Not bad at all. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. Now, this bit here is kind of rough. Because we're going to have... Yep, and there's the third and final champion effigy. But here we go. We're going to have a whole load of enemies just march towards us here. So we'll take a couple out with those. We do want to run our ass over there as well. So. Let's take you out. If we can. Interesting. I thought there was more of them. Another box refugee. Cool. Cool. Pretty sure. We look down there. I'm sure there's an enemy behind there as well. Right. Anyway. We definitely want the plus five damage. So let's have a little walk and grab it, shall we? Yink. Because they're the only ones that are genuinely worth it. The plus fives. All the others, we just forget about them. Now, critters, unfortunately. Even though we have loads of them, they just don't heal us enough. They only heal, heal us an absolute fraction. Okay. Now, one thing I wouldn't mind, combine. Right, okay. So, we can make some steak bombs. Uh, which is curious. Might not be an awful idea, but we can also make actual proper healing items, too. Which we may partake in a little bit of that. Right, there's one there. Oh, I knew it. Ah, oh, shit. Come on, throw the thing. Throw the thing. <laughs> yes, very technical term, that. No, we want to use the critter. Ooh. Didn't really want to use both of those, but I was kind of in a bind. Alright, let's just keep eating critters. 
Oh, the grubs actually appear to heal you quite a decent amount. Mmm, moldy crawfish. My favourite. Said nobody. Alright, let's take this jackass out. Crush his ass into the ground. You like that? Ooh. A champion effigy. Not bad. Um, I've never seen one of those come out of a box before. But I guess that is a possibility. Not too shabby at all, guys. Happy with that. Think. No, this is where an enemy actually spawns, I believe. All right. Not bad. Not bad, guys. Take another one of you. We will give it a save. Okay. Any other goodies in here? No. I mean, the game's been very generous with us. Two boxer effigies. That's pretty insane. Uh, or at least, yeah. A champion effigy, I should say. Like I said, I've never seen that before. Never seen that come from a chest. Now this bit, oh boy. Uh, might want to make a couple of those. A couple of those too. Right. Now this bit is what I was considering saving the shotgun for. After, of course, we used the shotgun. All right, buddy. Uh, yeah, remember these guys. Now, we got the spears. Just want to use the spears on those. Yeah, Mum. There we go. I genuinely can't remember how strong this guy is. Hey, we got him, I think. Yep, we got him, I think. Yep. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, that guy kind of sucks a fat one. If I'm honest. He can be quite the bastard. In fact, this is an area where you can really lose a lot of time. Now, there's an effigy there. And from what I can remember, that's the last time you can actually get an effigy for free, I believe. Hey, Zoe. How are you doing? It's a goddamn sacrilege. Oof. <gasps> I like the fact he doesn't actually care that his brother's like all mutated. He's like, oh, hi, Jack. How are you doing? God damn it, Jack. Don't you remember your brother? I got a feeling Jack probably smells bad. Really bad. I'm your family. Can you do this to me? Get me the fuck out of here, Jack. Oh, hell, Jackie boy. What's happened to you? Nothing good. I think that's fair to say. 
And it kind of looks like he's been doing this to a lot of people. I guess this is where our umbrella friends came from. This game has a very unique look to it. Mayday! 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 We've been engaged by an unknown bioweapon. Baker House camp. Under attack. Got him in the same thing that attacked Baker. <laughs> there you are. All right. The, let's do this. The Baker residence, eh? Well, let's go. Unfortunately, we have lost all of our stuff. And I really do mean we have lost all of our stuff. But that's okay. Now, that is a metal reinforced door. Yeah, we ain't getting through that. But no matter. We've lost all of our items, all of our effigies, the whole lot. But wait! Advanced multi-purpose gauntlet. One of their fancy toys? Ready for use. My headset says that. So Charging. now... Charge complete. We can give the enemies a fisting. <laughs> oh yeah. We call this thing the equalizer. Charge complete. Who's next? Come on. Come one, come all. Charge. Even if you don't charge this thing up, it does considerable damage. Put old Jack down. Notice how there's no brotherly love. Doesn't give a shit. Fuck Jack, right? Now I should remember this room. Zoe Baker, fourth grade. To be fair, like, if I... I mean, I don't know what the fourth grade is. That's an American term. But if I could have done something like that when I was a kid, that would have been pretty impressive. I probably couldn't even make something that looks that good now. Out of the way, you motherfuckers. Get some more critters. Yeah, we remember this room. Charging. Charge complete. You came to the wrong house, motherfucker. Oh, actually. Charging. I think I remember. Charge. Where there is Charging. one. Possibly one more. Uh, effigy to pick up. Charging. Charge complete. Knock, knock. Get out, of my way. Get out of my way, boy. Charge complete. I don't think there's a lot of goodies to pick up, if anything. Ah, uh, hey, you big bloated motherfucker. Charge. Yeah. What do you think of that? Charge complete. Get out of here. Oh, there is one more. Excellent. Charging. Now, I don't think we were supposed to actually come this way. We weren't, no. Gotta be up ahead. Oh, maybe there is a few more effigies around. No, wait. I think that one might be the last one. It's something like that. Now. We're all good. We're all good. Back to where all the chaos started, huh? Quarantine. What happened here? Now what's interesting is that I don't think uh, Joe actually lives that... A hey, lost in inventory has been moved to the item box. I don't think jo uh, Joe actually lives that far away from the bakers. So surely he must have known that something not great was going on here. But hey, above our pay grade. So we've got 14% extra damage there. Another 20% extra damage there. Jesus, I've never been so powerful going into the final boss battle. 
So five, so that's 25, 29, 39% extra damage. Dude, that's pretty insane. Let's take everything we can with us. I mean, we only really want to make health, to be honest. Because weapons don't do a whole load. So, we'll make five of those. Alright, whatever. Oh, crawfish. Can we make another? Oh, can't make another one. Alright, so, what do we got here? So, develop to assist the transport of heavy equipment and supplies. When worn, the wearer's nerve impulse impulses are detected and synced with an actuator, allowing the max output to exceed 50 horsepower. State-of-the-art shock absorbers reduce all recoil experience by the wearer to zero. Technical specifications, max output, six, uh, was that 78 AP at 60,000 RPM. And that's a lot of torque. 55, uh, 155 newtons. Oof. Yeah, this thing's pretty gnarly. Shame we never got it uh, in another game. We've finished analyzing the tissue samples believed to be from Jack Baker. The cells exhibit an extraordinary resistance to physical and chemical damage. The E-series mutamycy secretes a, a telomerase-like enzyme through the cell wall, causing abnormal activation of the ERK pathway to achieve forced cell division, quickly regenerating damaged tissue. However, the repeated cell division quickly leads to breakdown in the intercellular structure, leading to the sloughing, slurry-like effect we've observed in the collected tissue samples. Our working hypothesis is that puts this down to the cells reaching their... Um, Hay flink limit. Is that cells only being able to divide X amount of times? Sounds familiar. Note that the samples from the other family members, the wife, Marguerite, the son, Lucas, and the daughter, Zoe, do not exhibit the same extreme regenerative properties. The symptoms may differ from subject to subject. Further study required. Further study, you fools! There should be no further studies. Okay, now unfortunately, this so far this run looks like it's recorded okay. It's just kind of a shame that this has been my worst run of the game. Just you wait, Jack. Zoe's coming with me. Zoe's coming with me. I like how they've quarantined Zoe. all of this. We'll have you. We have so much health. Oh God. Oh, man. I mean, we've done the worst, like, <laughs> um, as, you know, the amount of damage we've taken and the amount of times I've died. I cannot believe I've died so many times. But how many hills have we got? Three, three, six. We've got eight full hills. At least I think they're full hills, not 100% sure. Zoe! Zoe, wake up! Wake up! Hello, ugly. Ooh. All right, calm down. Oof. Ooh. Right, let's do this. Now we need to be careful. We need to keep keep watching what he's doing. Now the rub with this guy is we just got to keep moving. When he does that, we've got to. Hope for the best. Ooh, nutted me right in the face. Not great. Get up. Get up, Joe. There we go. Ooh, painful. Painful. Dodged it. Now, he will start trying to whip us with tentacles. Which is fine. Let's try and get him in with it. There we go. Right, that one we have to dodge under. 
I remember that much. Charging. Charge complete. Charge. So I have to do Charge. shit tons of damage. Charge complete. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, not great. That's fine. We've got all these hills. We've got so many hills. It's kind of insane. Right. Okay, we got stun locked there a little bit there. Whoop, whoop. He's going to throw us, but that's okay. Thanks, buddy. Get up. Get up, Joe. Charging. Right, there he goes with this whip. Oh, okay. I thought we could actually disrupt that. Maybe not. Yeah, that was dodged the wrong way. Dead. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> that's totally fine. Oof, let's try it again. Now, I remember actually being stuck on this guy for quite a while, but he's really not too bad. The biggest problem is having to go back through all this again every time. But, it's, yeah, it should, it's only because I'm, like, fucking it up. Right, let's try that again. He's saying that, though. I, he's definitely not what I would call easy. He's certainly not the hardest boss in the world. Right, there we go. Ow. Thanks, Jack. Now, it's probably more efficient to take him out that way. Oh, here we go. Ah, oh, should have dodged. Should have dodged. Go for a hill. Dodge under that one. Dodge out the way of that. There we go. Charge okay, and now he's going to swipe again. Or he should. There we go. There we go. Oh, he did three. I didn't realise he does three. There we go. The more we, the more you know, I guess. I'm just going to tank the damage. Dance around him. I would like to know some statistics. For instance... Charge. When we charge up like that, is it physically worth the charge? I don't know. Ow. Ow. Right, let's get some healing done. Couldn't duck because I was healing. <laughs> but that's fine. There we go. Oh, hello. Right, staggered him. Staggered him so we're healed. Oh, I didn't even see what he was doing. Ducked. Yeah, that is another thing. Sometimes you can't see what he's doing because your hands are kind of taking up the whole screen. But it's kind of a small thing, to be honest. Hey, you ain't cheating now, are you? <laughs> hey, wait. Aren't we technically cheating? Because we're kind of using all these super hills and everything. So I would say we're the cheating ones. Not that I want to root for old Jackie boy or anything. Charging. Charge. There we go. You were a whip, Jack. Never took me. I love that. Just because you're a monster now. Ooh, God. Alright, that... I feel that jump attack shouldn't actually have hit us. But, whatever. Can't dodge, because I can't see what I'm doing. Getting stun locked. Ow. There we go. We're just going to keep punching him in the face until he drops down. You're going to do it again? Yep. Third time. Happy with that. There we go, Jackie boy. Let's have another. Oh, we've teleported. Ooh, 
Ooh. Ooh. So I'm guessing... I'm guessing it was actually Joe that, yeah, took him out. I don't understand this. Because there's only half of him there, and he hasn't crumbled apart. I don't know why... I don't know. Anyway, also, sun's coming up. I really freaking like the fact that sun's coming up. Son, hang in there. You gotta be all right now. Zoe? Zoe! What about old, uh, old Joe? Wake up, Zoe! Joe? What happened to her? Are you okay? I'm fine. Don't you worry about me. It's all over now. Go, 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 go! Don't move! Get your hands up! Get down! Oh, Weapons down! Weapons down! <laughs> it's all right. You must be Zoe Baker. Who the hell's asking? Chris Redfield. Been looking all over for you. We're here to help. You're gonna be just fine. I was trapped with those monsters for three years. All of them trying to kill me. I can't believe it's finally over. You gotta know. Deep down somewhere, they were still your family. And they loved you. <laughs> Especially your daddy. Even in his final days. <laughs> we found her. She's a tough kid. Of course. Hang on. Someone wants to speak to you. Zoe! Zoe, are you there? It's you! I don't believe it. You actually made it. We both did. You didn't forget about me. I told you I'd send help. And I always keep my promises. Thank you, Ethan. And there we have it. End of Zoe. Or, well, not quite end of Zoe, anyway. Oh my god, that is loud. That is so loud. Now I'm hoping the sound actually comes out okay this time. Man, I can't believe we had eight restarts. How many times did we die? Oh, it must have been eight, I guess. Jesus, that's mad. Still, we finally got through it. Um, hour and a half. Yeah, I might just see if I can just upload this in one chunk. Um, it's a really fun DLC. Uh, I do need to go through it on hard. I might, if I get a day or so over Christmas, spare, which I don't think I'm going to have. I will do that, I think. Um, perhaps, yeah, so cool to get some final closure on that. So I guess Joe actually takes out Jack and I can't help but feel there's some kind of narrative here, something about family or something. Uh, they might have run that in a little bit too hard, but you know, whatever. And I guess, um... When the scientists and the umbrella team actually come in, maybe they fix joe up as well and give him something so he doesn't mutate uh but yeah and then even that little bit from ethan there now i like it i like the way zoe thanks ethan for sending people even though she didn't think he was going to that's quite interesting i think because well let's be fair um he didn't know that he was going to be able to sell and send anyone so as far as he was concerned and as far as he knew he was literally leaving her there to die but never mind she's fine i guess so yeah uh really glad i finally got through that i really enjoyed it i hope you guys enjoyed it little bit annoyed that that was possibly my 
Well, it was my first my first run was probably worse than that. Second run was really, really, really good. We pretty much beasted through it. Um, tons of stealth kills. I think I only died a couple of times against Jack. That was it. Uh, but never mind. It was good. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you all have a fantastic Christmas or holiday or whatever the hell you're celebrating. Even if it's just a few days away from work. Just time to decompress, relax, get over the year. And thanks to all the new people that have joined as well. Channel has been steadily growing, uh, which is really cool. And uh, until next time. A fun-filled year ahead, hopefully full of all sorts of new games that we're going to be doing as and when uh, we get to them. Unfortunately, we're still having like severe internet problems, but that's just going to be a theme of this house. It's been the theme of this channel now for two and a half years, two and a half years, three years. Although they have been extremely bad these last... Um, last eight weeks or so i would say um but there we go we we will work around these things we always do but thanks everybody thank you very much for your support over the last 10 years now nearly it's got to be close to 10 years jesus here's to another 10 all the best guys thanks for watching <laughs>